watched my favorite movie of the Oscar season yesterday. Did you now? I did. That's good. I. Oh, what was it? Would you care to tell? It was the Irish one. Oh, in Sharon Hoochie. Yeah, yeah, whatever it's called. Yeah. 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 I love that movie. Uh, it's getting a lot of buzz. <laughs> you see it yet? Not yet. Is it going? Yeah. Hey, welcome back to our Two Minute Rexes with Corbin. I'm Colin Farrell. And I'm Mad Eye Moody. Uh, what, what platform is it on? HBO. Okay, great. So, yeah, Good to know. Give it, a, give it a watch on E. I'm very biased to the Irish. <laughs> wonder, wonder why. <laughs> very biased. But it's a great film. It's uh, getting yeah, yeah, tons yeah. of... It's a front runner in so many categories yeah, on so uh, many lists. I mean, I haven't seen... I hardly anything yet so it's yeah that's like one of the first things I watched that was awesome so in other words you haven't seen any Oscar contenders it's the first favorite. one you watch it's your favorite it's, it's the, the, the front one. runner it's the Irish one it's the front runner <laughs> uh, I'm Corbin this is Rick yeah uh, we do stupid stuff here yep, all the time including movie reviews <laughs> which is what we're doing right now you little shitheads wow whoa sorry wow wow I know I'm sorry I got carried away well, uh, today we're doing a movie <laughs> review of the 2011 film. Yes. The Dirty Picture. Yeah. Not to be confused with the Girls of Kama Sutra. That's true. Although, it might be. Uh, which we, we've also seen and reviewed, if you'd like to see our review of that one. It's true. Just uh, see it naked. Yeah. Uh, but this is a 2011 Hindi um, semi autobiographical. Uh, comedy drama uh, with starring Vidya Balan mm -hmm. and Imran Hashmi mm -hmm. and Nasirin Shah mm -hmm. and a couple of people, but mm -hmm. it's a Vidya Balan picture mm -hmm. uh, directed by Milan Luthria. Milan Luthria. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's a, a love story between an actress and a director inspired by the life of the late South Indian actress Silk Smitha, right? I believe that's close enough for hand grenades. And I don't think it's a, uh, from what I was told, it's not a direct telling of her life. It's nope. just loosely inspired, and she's who they decided to do it. If it's not like a, um, a strict, like, this was her life, this is how we're telling it. Right. It was more of a big Bollywood kind of production of kind of her life. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I guess a, yeah. Little, yeah. a little sprinkling yeah. of, of her life um, on and all that. But it came out in 2011, so it'll be 100 percent spoiler review. If you haven't watched it, go watch it. Come back. We saw it on Netflix. Yeah, so I believe it's there. Rick, your initial thoughts of the dirty picture? There's a line that's repeated in the film that's probably one of the more iconic and memorable of it, which is entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. Mm -hmm. And the first half of the film. That's what you get for me is entertainment, entertainment, entertainment. We'll talk about performances and things of that nature, but ultimately, when all is said and done, I didn't like it. Mm. Just overall, you didn't like it at all. I, I loved Vidya, uh -huh. loved her. I'd really love to see her tackle the actual biography of Silk. Yeah, um, I think with what she was given. She did the best anyone could possibly do, but the film as a whole and some things that we can get into in the and in the details ultimately for me, especially in light of some of the things that we, we'll talk about again. I read a, a quote from Ekta Kapoor, one of the producers, as to what she had said that this was India's answer to Boogie Nights, which came out four years prior. Oh, really? And that's remarkably not even in the same universe as Boogie Nights. This isn't even... To, to say that this was your answer to Boogie Nights is just... Uh, that shouldn't even be in the same sentence. Uh, so, ultimately, it, it's the first half I loved, and it was really fun to watch with Indrani because she was hooting and hollering when people came on the screen and yeah. she got up and started dancing during Ooh La La. Mm -hmm. And... But she's halfway through... She stopped watching. She said, the movie ends for me here. I'm I'm kind of, you can keep yeah. watching, but I'm done. Um, yeah, it was kind of a mixed bag for me as well. Yeah. And I kind of, I was actually kind of hoping it kept that quirkiness of the first half because it was really kind of like, um, almost kind of like a, a caricature of a lot of Bollywood 
big boat. Right. Like producers, directors, and everything was characterized. You know, right. Really over the top. Nasserat and Shah being fucking hilarious. Right. Just I love, over I, the top. Yeah, he was hilarious. funny. And then it kind of almost switched, <laughs> and it wanted to be a little more serious. It started to take itself too seriously. And I'm like, mm, this Agreed. is not, I don't feel like you made this film. This is not, right. I feel like you, you set out to make the, the first half of the film exactly um and i and i agree and, and i don't think it was bad I, I, by any stretch but i also like i was as it went on it was just like <sighs> i don't know that this is what i i was really wanting from the first half of the film that i got I yeah was, i was really enjoying like the <laughs> nasirat and shah in the first half of the f- I, just and her yeah just, i was really I, I, enjoying the first yeah, half her and uh, her performance in the second you could see why she's video bottling obviously yeah, in, she's in wonderful. certain moments and i was like yes if you made the entire film that yeah that would have been great um but like <laughs> yeah I, I so i agree the, it was a, a, a pretty mixed bag for me in terms of what the film got for me it seems like it was kind of all over the place with what it, the story it also wanted to tell and right new love interest that came in i was like where the fuck did that come from right I, like i don't know what the hell that yeah, is and and where the hell did that one go yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. and so obviously if any of that stuff was like part of her life at all and like the audience just knew that this is what they were kind of implying yeah it was kind of i wish they would have if if that was the case melded it a little better and uh, as opposed to like it felt like bullet point almost right yeah uh ish at times but i'll, I'll talk about a lot of stuff i liked um and let's talk about the especially the first half um we'll get to video in a second but nasir and shah in the first half was great I loved, I loved his performance. I loved the writing of his character in the first half. Me too. Because it was so ridiculous. Like, first of all, you he came on the screen and you're like, okay, this, so this is supposed to be like Salman Khan, Shah Rukh Khan of of the day, big sexy man, and but he's like this ridiculously old man with this hot young. It's obviously that was a statement they of were, course, they, they were trying to make exactly. But then, like, when they made him be like the little boy and the guy, the director was like, <laughs> just like a young child. <laughs> genius genius <laughs> and th- that was like the vibe of the film that i was really enjoying yeah, poking making fun of itself making mm-hmm. making fun of indian cinema just as a whole yeah so, yeah especially I liked that. at the time yeah and all that um and so i loved like his kind of quirky performance i love that he was in this style of film that was um not his norm right um and and all, which doesn't surprise me that, like, especially in the first half, he liked a film that was kind of poking fun at a lot of the big Bollywood nests that he probably doesn't like very much. Absolutely. Um, and so, especially in the second half, he kind of lost all the comedy almost. It was just turned into almost the, almost not really villain per se, but like bad guy. Yeah, I felt like the film knew what it was for the first half and then just tried to be something it wasn't. Yeah, second half. Uh, I agree. Uh, Vidya Balan, as always, is is absolutely amazing. Oh, I love her. Um, she she oozes sexuality and also is not afraid of it, um, which is is really remarkable for a big actress in Bollywood, especially at the times. Right, even uh, now, even now, uh, it was quite telling of like the, how this person's story went and what's going on with Dapika and she decided to wear orange <laughs> I straight up I straight up said in the one in one of the music numbers and the controversy that was supposed to arise from the musical number and I turned to a and I said well at least she wasn't wearing orange <laughs> <laughs> wearing orange and dressed and dancing all vulgarly um, no I agree my my in the same way that that uh Ronnie McCurgy has a sexuality about her that's unbridled. It was really fun to watch Vidya be just unbridled. Mm-hmm. And I, I really would, I would love, truly, I would love to see her go into a real autobiographical film about Silk mm-hmm. where she could be full throttle all the time in a dramatic turn because I think she's... She, first of all, she's never looked perfect. Yeah, she's never looked better. Absolutely beautiful, and I felt like 
the majority of her time, her choices were to try to, which is saying a lot, especially for the first half. Mm -hmm. I really felt like she was trying to incarnate, trying to be this person. I felt like she had a really good grasp on who she wanted to, to be rather than just show you. It would have been really easy for both of them to just show you a stereotype mm -hmm. versus creating actual characters that push the line of ridiculousness. Yeah. So, yeah, I... I love her. Yeah, she, uh, she's she, wonderful. She was absolutely great. Um, and she's the kind of actor that when I watch her, I want to act with, which yes. is the highest compliment I could and give in, anybody. In the second I, half when I... When you want to work with somebody. In the second half when I kind of lost um, interest a little bit, uh, she was the one that always drew me back in. With, That's it. Like, obviously, when she was kind of going through her mental breakdown and running out in the street. And I love those. I mean, she did She did amazing. I mean, it's... I. Wasn't surprised in the slightest that that she was bringing what she was bringing. She's like a great chef on the uh, cooking show where everybody's given the boxes of ingredients that just don't seem to make sense, and then the sh they can turn it into something that, in spite of the ingredients, you're impressed with their creativity. Mm -hmm. It's exactly the analogy I would give for her performance in this: is that she took some stuff that had ingredients that just don't really seem to, to, to fit on yeah. their own, but because it was in her hands, I, I watched all the way through to the end, and my, I was most impressed not with the ingredients. I was impressed with her. Yeah, and like I like a lot of the, the, the message of the film. Um, I don't think it was particularly clear all the time, though. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Like, obviously, of how women are treated in the industry, um, especially in Indian cinema of, like... I mean, it's not just Indian cinema, it's... Hollywood in general, it's getting a lot better now. But yeah. it's from how it was of like, obviously the man could be a billion years old like Nasir Din Shah and his love interest is always going to be this hot 20 year old. But then once she turns 27, yeah, once her shelf life's over, she's gone. Right. She's replaceable. Right. Um, and obviously if at times when they're asked to, you know, dance in certain ways to, you know, bring the spice as they say, they're then vilified later, right? For that said spice, exactly. Um, and and so I I liked like the the message of of that, but also sometimes I felt like they were almost vilifying her at times, mm -hmm. and I was like, mm, I don't I don't much like that. Uh, and and like other times, I was like, I don't know what messaging you're trying to send here, um, as opposed to just the um, we need to change how we do things and, and, and not treat women this way of, mm -hmm. of like, and, and there's nothing wrong with what she's, if she's wearing in the poster, she's wearing, in, she's wearing orange and mm -hmm. doing uh, risque things. Uh, there's no actress right now that can relate to that. I don't think, I don't think so. Um, but like, it's also so funny, like some of the stuff that like people like freaked out about, like of, of her and, and even Topeka is like, Dan they think she's dancing vulgarly. I'm like, how about your penis made you feel funny and you now feel bad about that? It's a sad... <laughs> the larger takeaway for me was something the movie itself doesn't particularly address directly. Maybe maybe it does directly. I don't know. You'd have to talk to the, to, to the writers and the director. But something that I've, we've consistently talked about and I've consistently seen, I talk about it with my wife, is what I consider to be a very sad thing that's happened in Indian culture since the Kama Sutra to today, in particular, what the puritanical prudishness of British occupation did mm. to the, the culture, culture yeah. and, and, and religiousness, irrespective of what we're talking about with your belief system, you can give a name. There are way too many who impose a religious worldview on others that minimizes the blessing and the healthiness and the beauty of both male and female sexuality. And it's astonishing that that it's that way. It, we've seen it in cinema, you know, we've joked about the fact, and it's not a joke, it's a reality, that the majority of scenes that depict anything relating to sex are <laughs> cut to the item song, cut yeah. to the song. Let's see the sunflowers. Let's. No one's gonna kiss each other on the lips, which obviously, I, I was really happy with the kiss that she had on top of the car where it was mouth to mouth when we saw the kiss because she never kissed Nasir. And they wanted us to think she kissed Nasir, but she never kissed Nasir. Yeah. And uh, that is one of the more confounding things. It happens here, too. I said that to Indrani while we were watching it last night. 
Uh, we weren't even watching this. We were watching something else. It was a news story that had to do with sexuality in some way, shape, or form, and how I, I'm the only parent that I've ever heard of or known of who has openly said that I want my kids to have a really wonderful sex life mm -hmm. and uh, openly talk about that. And it's my understanding, for example, sex education isn't even really taught unless you're just talking about some basic hygiene things, that sex education isn't even a part of the educational system in yeah, India. I don't know. It was when I was, but uh, that was a while no, ago. No, 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 in India. Oh, in India. In India, yeah. yeah. And how uh, the only way you're going to learn certain things is through experimentation with your partner. And even then, how do you know you're getting that right? And if you bring up the subject of, hey, here's this will shock some of you. Hey, somebody want to have a class on how to properly perform cunnilingus? Uh-oh, well, censor, shut it down. Stop, that's it. Well... How, you, how, how do you figure that out? Well, you just keep it in private. We don't talk about those things. Well, it's a human expression. And that's one of the things that I felt like this could have gotten into, especially I would have preferred. It's so far afield, really, from what I've read about Silk's life. Mm -hmm. Don't even give her the name Silk because yeah. you're, you're letting the audience, many of whom would have heard who she was maybe, and we'll see the movie and walk away and assume they know about her life. And to me, that does a really big disservice to yeah. her that you made the character her name and even gave a lot of even her death. The reality about Silk's death yeah. is not as straightforward as they made it in the film. Yeah. And people could walk away and say, oh, poor Silk. I remember her. She was a movie actress who tried, who was kind of forced into porn and hated it. And then she killed herself with a pill overdose and wrote a really cogent letter about it. And that's just not factual. No, yeah, I I don't feel like I know any more about Silk. Uh, like I, I don't think I learned anything about Silk in this. And if you weren't supposed to, I don't know why it would be. Don't, it would, don't call her Silk. Right. It's like making a film where there's a sex symbol and you're calling her Marilyn, but it's not really going to tell you anything about her life. So don't. Everyone's going to know who you're doing if it's a blonde bombshell named Marilyn in the 1960s. Yeah. In fifties. Oh, Abhishek casted this. I wonder if that was one of his first things he ever casted. I do too. Because that was so, yeah, that was early on. Anyways, um, but yeah, so like, I th I think like I I was kind of enjoying uh, like this guy's love interest with her a little bit, but then that completely fell off I, like real fast. Both of them kind of did. Yeah, and I, like they didn't really give good reasons why either. We had. The story at the beginning being told to us by Abraham, mm -hmm. and then he disappears from the story for a very long time. Yeah. So then he comes back. I didn't particularly believe the transformation and the challenge he was facing of this being a woman that he detested but couldn't help that he was drawn to. Yeah. It just seemed very hollow. Yeah. Uh, it the main takeaway for me was the fun of watching Nasir yeah. and the the master chef doing the best she could with the ingredients she was handed. Yeah. So like the, the first half, if if it kept that kind of entertainment value um, and didn't really try to go into seriousness, yeah, I think it could have been really, really good. Um, like even the end? Like, and yeah. And the credits? I was waiting for an end credit number that was going to be the wink, wink, nudge, nudge. We had so much fun being silly, didn't we? But there wasn't any of yeah. that, which, again, was the second half taking itself so seriously. Yeah. And, um, yeah, I just I just didn't understand the, the change. Like, it could have been, like, almost like a um, – because I know we haven't seen it yet, but Om Shanti Om is, is a – spoof on Bollywood. Right. And it's a full-on spoof. Right. Like, the entire thing, I believe, is almost like the first half. Like, right. ev everything is making fun of old-school Bollywood, the over-the-top acting, all right. that kind of stuff. Right. And so that's almost what I was expecting a little bit. Me especially too. Especially with how the first half yeah, went. Yeah, the tone change was strange. Yeah, and so... Hmm. And and I... um, Dang it, I'm going off track with the thought, just like you do. <laughs> Something you had said about uh. this. Dang it. Uh, oh, that what it was. At moments, I thought I was watching The Dark Knight. Score. I don't remember The Dark Knight score in this. Oh. Yeah, was it? Yes. 
So much so, I looked up how close it was in proximity to the release of Dark Knight, and it's only a couple of years, but... Pre I, or I, prior? I, no, Dark Knight was 2008. Yeah, 2008. So, it, I mean, it had the... It had bum, bum, that you... If you... there, I'm surprised it didn't hit you, because it would... At moments, I thought, okay... If Hans Zimmer's office heard this stuff, he might be a little <laughs> peeved that some of this stuff was just copied. It, it was some of the scoring. And and I also the the soap opera melodrama e scoring where every moment had a dun 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 underneath yeah. worked in the first half. Yeah. But that tone with the score didn't happen. It, it it remained in the second half when it was scripted to be more serious, it still had the kind of scoring it had in the first half of the film which didn't seem to to match the feel for me yeah so yeah overall a, a very mixed bag for me um just i loved video i loved She's the lot. reason i, I watch loved it. a lot of stuff for the in the first half like nasir i think he was a lot of fun especially in the first half um I, maybe i was just expecting a little something different uh from this film especially since we just watched something with silk in it and we wanted to learn a lot more about her right um you know, this isn't it no this isn't it but uh i'm with my wife yeah hoot and holler laugh dance and then halfway through watch something else <laughs> yeah watch something else. <laughs> but uh, let us know what you thought about this film which will be our next video balan uh picture that we should watch i know there's a lot more of her and i would love to get to everything she's ever done love her uh cuz i know she's done uh, uh i think she's a very brave actress no one killed jessica Hitchkey, right? The the one where mm -hmm. she is that one. Yeah. Uh, I think there's another one called starting starting with an M. Um, that a lot of people. Mission Mongol. No. Not the, that's not the one I'm thinking of. Um, Do you have I, you, my favorite? Oh, she is in won't, pod. Won't surprise well. you. What? My favorite of hers that we've seen. Uh, Hera. Mm. -mm. Kahani. Oh, Kahani. Oh, yeah. Obviously, yeah. yeah. I love I know, Kahani. I forgot about that one. Um, but anyways, let us know what her next film uh, of ours should be. Uh, our next film of hers should be. Uh, and Nasir. And Nasir, of Especially course. If... What about that one right there? I don't think that's a movie. It should be. I think it's just him on the beach being sexy. Uh, and uh, next, a uh, Silk film. Yeah, is there watch. one? A good, yeah. legitimate... And I, I'm sorry to say this, but in close... Can you make one without the censor board or people getting Probably up in not. arms? Because her life is quite erotic. I know. It's make a shame. Ho let Hollywood make it. Or the French. Yeah. Anyways, let us know what you thought about this film down below. <laughs>